See, there's a beautiful story, old Indian story. There was a king, very nasty king, and he was attacking everybody, stealing from everybody. Everybody was disturbed. And his opposition would keep trying to fight him. Nothing would happen to the man. They'd keep attacking, keep attacking, keep attacking. And they were very confused. Why is nothing happening to this man? What is going on? And this went on for a couple of years. And then after some time, there was this wise man who used to do dhyan outside. And so they went to him and I said, they said, what is going on? We keep attacking this man. Every day we attack this man. Nothing happens to this man. And the gentleman said, look, the reason is that this man's soul is actually somewhere else. The frame, the image is of the king. But the soul is somewhere else. So they asked him, where is the soul? And he said, the soul is there in a village in the corner. If you go, there's a little cage. And inside that cage, there is a parrot. And if you go and you kill that parrot, the king will fall. Right? And that is exactly what is going on here. Mr. Narendra Modi's soul is Mr. Adani. Right? And no matter how much we attack Mr. Narendra Modi, it doesn't have an effect. Because the soul is somewhere else. And now we've understood this. We've understood that the soul is there in the parrot. And now we are attacking the soul. And that is why all this is going on. That is why Apple is sending messages. Your phone is being targeted by state-sponsored attackers. Right? I used to think that, you know, there's a ranking. People say, press people say, number one, number two. Number one, Mr. Modi. Number two, Mr. Amit Shah. And actually, the ranking is slightly different. It's number one, Mr. Adani. Number two, Mr. Modi. Number three, Mr. Amit Shah. The country will soon realize that the Prime Minister is employed by Mr. Adani and works for Mr. Adani. Right? The examples of this are clear. Bombay Airport, airport that is owned by somebody else. State-sponsored agencies attack the owner. He surrenders the airport to Mr. Adani. Mr. Adani is over-invoicing coal from Australia. It, it leaves Australia, it arrives in India, the price is doubled. No inquiry. Nothing. No ED, no CBI, nothing. Who's paying for it? When we are using electricity, poor people of this country using electricity, we're giving Adani tax. We're going in the railways, we're giving Adani tax. So it's very clear what is going on. Right? The wealth of the Indian people is being stolen from them. They are being divided, they are being made to hate each other, and while they are angry, they are disturbed, they are upset, Mr. Adani is basically taking over everything in this country. He owns most of the channels that are, you know, whose cameras are these? Uh, most of these cameras, I don't know which ones, but half of them at least are owned by Mr. Adani. So, hello. Uh, <laughs> Hello, Mr. Adani. Uh, I know you don't like this. Um, I know you don't like this uh, type of activity, but I must tell you that you are creating a huge amount of anger against yourself in this country. The common masses of this country are getting to understand what is going on. Uh, and it's my duty as a politician, as an opposition politician, to tell the truth about what is happening in India.